Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fablehaim and the Benevolent Tyrant's Domination of China. We resume exactly where we left things off last time in an intern phase. I have plans. Many plans that involve another court juggle and some redeployments. Because some people are really far away from the action. Liu Lan Yu has come of age. Shi Huo Zhen has come of age. Jin Yu Ji has come of age. Wow. And Zhang Liao is a rival. Sometimes it seems a healthy rivalry can have prosperous results. You are told that two warriors, having formed a friendship and a rivalry, are training in every spare moment in a bid to outdo one another. This can only be good for you. Additional morale. A dose of healthy competition, shall we say. Sao Zi is creative. Jin Zhu Zhu is understanding, and Jie Jin Ri is tranquil. Tranquil. But yes, first things first, the court shuffle. Because I asked a few episodes ago about our faction heir situation. Now, Liu Bian is slowly becoming a better faction heir, but you can see that his bonuses are only one available army, minus 25% redeployment cost, 8 satisfaction, 6 public order, and 15% income from industry. And that's kind of like a mediocre role, I would say. But you laugh at it when you look over here at Yuan Shu and look at his list of stuff. And Liu Biao's list of stuff. And the Emperor's list of stuff. So you can see, it's kind of not good in comparison. And because my goal now is to win the game before Liu Hong dies, we are going to bring in good old Machao. Liu Bu 2.0. I mean, he didn't have any tendency to betray people like he did. So in order to get him on the throne, I mean, we can already do it right now. I can make him the heir immediately. But we're also going to have him marry my daughter. Who just came of age. Because he's kind of young, you know? At least compared to the other people that I like. Like Kong Rong, he's old. And I'm not going to pull a Liu Bei on him. All right, where is she? It's Liu Lan Yu. That is our child that is of age. There's a Liu, but it's not the right one. We have so many commanders. Liu Lan Yu. Liu Ying Xu, I think, is... Liu Bei's... Liu Biao's daughter? Hello... I wish there was a better way to do this. Oh, you know what? I bet she can't yet. Liu Jingyu. Liu Yingshu. Yeah, I bet she's too young. Because she literally just turned of eight, so maybe we have to wait a little bit. Okay, well, we're going to wait a few turns. In which case, we'll wait. I know. <laughs> that was quite the tease. Um, but the reason we're waiting, besides trying to get this in order, to is... Hmm. It's kind of annoying. Is because we're going to be doing some redeployments. And you are leaving this world. Goodbye. My lord, I hope all is well. It is, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Equip this. You are not deserving, Jin Jingming. Jingming. Let me see the name. Uh, Big Daddy Dong. He's one of the people that we're going to be recalling after we punch this army in the face. It is my destiny to succeed. And we're going to recall the Dong and place him in front With of our me. next enemy. Goodbye, Sen Shuli. Yes. So the redeployment bonus from uh, Liu Bian will help us here. So we aren't going to spend any money. We're going to ignore all of the upgrades, of which there are many, and uh, move on. So I guess we'll just go back this way, Nothing will stop because us. we have replenishment here. We'll get ready to go here, and our new army, led by our soon-to-be heir, can go this way. We should have a decent ambush chance here. 
with Kang Rung. He does not agree with either Huang Zhong or Ma Zhao. And they get along. That's fine. I don't mind. Um, am I attacking you? No. We're going this way. That way lays chaos. That's why you're going there, Lucia. Because it's chaos. You're gonna go put an end to it. No, Guojia. What are we doing with you? This is our throwaway army that's chasing down this rebellion. I guess I'll pick up this place market. Even though I shouldn't. Shouldn't spend any money, but it's for the spice. Remain flexible. To I guess we're just going to go here and agency. ambush. Always forwards. I don't see why Gong Du would go this way, but just in case he does. Just in case. Now, last time I said that it's probably only going to be two or more episodes, but um, I'm not sure how long the crusade against Sinjian is going to require. Now, remember that Sinjian in history is known as the Tiger of Jiangdong. But he was also quite the conqueror, and he united the Southlands underneath him, and was one of the few of the warlords that actually dealt a blow to uh, Dong Zhuo when the coalition was formed. But I'll continue the history lesson in a moment. There's a noble birth of Liu Sun. Ooh, I love that name. Good name. Liu Sun? Liu Sun? Anyway, that's between Liu Bian and Dong Li. Good job. And a noble birth, Ze Pei Bao, between Ze Yu and Xin Chong Meng. She is from the person we absorbed. So I don't really care about that. Congratulations, though. Chuan Rao is humble. And Jia Duan is cheerful. Good. Both of those help with satisfaction, so. That's nice. Liu Jiang Zhui left. She was mad at us, so. Jin Wen Zheng, Jin Ru Xu. So, her daughter and son, I think, followed. That's what that means to me. That might not be true. Be still. You know what would be really convenient? If the army over here, in the background, a coherent strategy. if they took over the city for me and then I just annexed them. This will meet our needs. One last thing for me to worry about. Again, we aren't spending any money. This is getting tiresome. Because we're going to be redeploying the Dong. As much as I want to build up that deserted city. We're not going to do it. I must resist. Shout fury! Give me your capital. Thank you. Yes! So now the two armies they of Zhang Zhang running around should be strategy. really weak, super weak, uber weak. This will meet our needs. Ultimate weak. What do you have here? Get rid of this. All right, Susan. Jiao Duan. Uh, we have an army going. Yeah. We should probably go this way. All right. Charge. Again, don't build anything. Resist the urge. Resist to war. the urge. Um, it'd be nice if we could sit in city for a turn or two. Four, ten, ten, four. Once again, I feel okay, the it doesn't matter. There's no difference. We'll go here and ambush, Channel I guess. Passion. Why not? Hmm. I feel like you need to go put an end to this. Literally one pixel is 45 and then 80% chance. There we go. Setting the trap. Setting the trap, yes. All as one. We have set the trap for him. We have to keep an eye on Gong too. Again, Xiao Duan went this way to cut off this army, and then Guoji is going to sweep through and cut off all their heads. Whoosh. This way. Oh, I need this first. Because now this means I can build into the anti-corruption buildings. Yes, finally. It's been so long. We are going to drastically reduce the amount of political influence we're getting, though, because it's only one per turn that building. So, you know, that's a thing. Alright, where are we attacking Sinjian from? Here. Because I want to take this and then march. And you don't have to march immediately. Probably do it here, though. For the replenishment, because that's... Yeah. 
Remember, the population of uh, the area. Only Dong Zhuo bring me prisoners. I wish to administer some justice. Justice. Only Thrust the, with the population in the area true. is what determines how fast you replenish. Peace. Is it wrong of me to replace these? No. It's only right. Fortunately, I don't have the money to do so. Ah, well. I'll wait till next turn. I'd love to replace these as well with the Imperial Palace crossbows, but I don't think it's going to happen. We can annex in two turns. We have how many people to annex? A lot. I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to build... We'll start converting a bunch of the administrative buildings into the corruption, the anti-corruption, so that our economy can get a bit of a boost. And um, we're just gonna dissolve the empire. <laughs> and I'll kill literally everyone. I kinda like that idea. It's like once we get rid of the big threats, you just open the floodgate of tiny little factions to devour for fun. We lost the tea house, yep. Sao Gai has come of age. Liu Yanyang has come of age. Wang Baojin has come of age. Wang Rui had a lot of children. We got a new steed and the finest armor and a rare talent. Well, we like rolled all the dice. A white stallion in the forest skin. And Dong Chong is trustworthy. Good. That is uh, Dong Zhuo's son, I believe. I believe. All right. Machao. Mary, my daughters. Specifically, Liu Yan Yang. Might still be possible. Or Liu Lan Yu. Yeah, that one. Oh, I can't because that makes sense. What brain? I can't marry Machao to my daughter because Machao is my son, and that's incest. I mean, it's not really incest because he's not, he's my adopted son. But the game is not differentiating that at all. I mean, literally, it's the writing of how many doujinshi? Okay. So Machao can't do that, which means we pick someone else. We could bring. Why not just use this one? This is Liu. There we go. I fixed it. Okay, I'm going to edit out my stupidity because... <laughs> it's fine. So that is Liu Biao's daughter, but part of the Liu clan, so it's fine. Beautiful. And then Liu Shou. Hmm. Didn't someone from Cao Cao's family just... come of age? Thanks again. Soon Yu is young. He's like 30, though. 39. I mean, 39, 16. The somewhat frightening bit is that that was probably incredibly common in ancient China. You know. Wait, do I have money still? Maybe. A little bit. Okay, so now, now that we've done that, let's make Liu Biao really happy, because his daughter is going to be Empress. This could be terrible. I'm going to quick save. <laughs> quick saving. <laughs> I've, I've actually never done this before. The heirs have only changed because of death, in my experience. So, this is going to be a brand new thing for me. Only those deemed worthy shall be considered successor to the ruling hand. All right. It's much now. One available army, minus 25% redeployment cost. Oh, that must be just a thing. Plus one satisfaction. 
15% upkeep reduction for Chiang units, 15% armor for all shock calf, 15% melee damage for all shock calf. And the air does not affect the, um, the faction balance. Good. All right. Is anyone really mad at that? That probably upset Liu Beyond, of all people, but... Looks fine to me. You're mad. Why? Oh. You desire a higher court position. Hmm. Alright. Easy peasy. We did it. I don't actually know much, again, about Machao, except for the fact that he was like Lu Bu 2.0 as far as his skill was concerned. But, um... I love his effects. We're just gonna charge into people with shock cap. Patience can snare any foe. Hmm. We gotta go this way. A foolish notion. It's fine. It's fine. Calm down. We have one more turn before Big Daddy Dong and his friends can move out. I didn't spend all of my money on characters this time because we need to keep upgrading stuff, or else our economy is gonna fall behind. So Zheng Zheng has two armies that are both Absolutely incredibly not. weak. I cannot. Weak enough that I think they're just going to die on their own. So. So. Huh. Luzhou is probably going to go to war. Okay, I'll do that. China. We'll get there eventually. Don't worry. Next turn we can annex. We'll take a look at the situation and then decide what to do. I think everyone has a good horse. Do you have a good horse? Of course you have your special horse. What is this set here? Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds how it starts with that horse because life is unfair. There you go. Have a horse. Have an instinct horse. You deserve an instinct horse. What about you, Machao? You also deserve an instinct horse. You're my faction heir now. Kong Rong has the black elite because I love him so very much. You have a special horse. Here's an upgrade for you. Zheng Liao. For being with us for so very long. Your loyalty shall be rewarded. Hmm. I'm really curious. I was thinking about... Ooh, look, success. I think I'm just going to auto-resolve this. A close victory. This is a close victory? Madness. You know what? I'm going to fight this. That upsets me so much that I'm going to fight it. <laughs> but uh, I was thinking about what to do when this campaign ends. Because I have uh, two new games on the list of things to do. That I would like to do. But they're not like Total War. It's Ratropolis and Iratus, Lord of the Dead, for those of you that were curious. But uh, I'm going to begin the Iratus campaign after the Mistover campaign concludes. So once we finally beat that game, uh, I'll play Iratus as a blind playthrough. Ratropolis won't be a blind playthrough because what I'm, from what I've understood, its tutorial is a little confusing. So my plan was to just learn it and then uh, play. Make sense? I hope so, because that's the plan. But I was thinking, what should we do as far as Total War is concerned? Because I tried, this is going to sound embarrassing, but I tried uh, picking up the... What's her name? Just total got... Uh, Repulse. Repulse. I wanted to finish the Repulse campaign and give her her ending, but I've tried recording it like three times... And I just, I can't. I don't know what's wrong with me. So, that campaign might just not see its end. We might just have to accept that it is what it is. Move on. So I was thinking for this game, I've already mentioned that I really enjoy, or was really interested in playing Lu Zhe, because, you know, I love him. And he's a strategist. And Luzhur is in our army, so I'm wondering if that 
makes it worth more or worth less. You know? Go that way. But, um... I think I'm not going to until they fix... Our success looms large! Until they fix him. Because I'm going to try and collect all... You know I'm going to try and collect every single one of the books. And currently there's a bug where the achievement for that doesn't count. And uh, it's they're aware of it, and it's on their list of things to fix. But it's not fixed. So... Oh, I'm not shooting anything. I'm trying to get Sal Salon Jiaku to win over here. He doesn't want to duel because he's running for his life. You know, it's fair. Absolutely fair. Look, the enemy run. Craven. I think we yeah, we lost him. Oh well. It's fine. Steal but see what I meant? This is not a close victory. This is an absolute slaughterhouse, is what it is. There you are. So the campaign I want to do with my heart is, as I mentioned, the Luzier campaign. But uh, that might not happen for a little bit. Again, until they fix their little buggy thingy. But uh, I was also thinking about playing Tao Qin. Because I have kind of a history of playing the free, to the free LC Lords. And I think people appreciate that somewhat. I know plenty of people that don't like buy the DLC. They just play the free LC and are contented with that. So, maybe they want to see a Tao Chien playthrough. I'm kind of curious about Tao Chien's no mechanic, because it seems kind of... How about this? It seems kind of counterintuitive. Because you get bonuses for various refugees, which encourages you... Counterintuitive isn't the right word. Ironic, maybe. See, there's the decisive victory. But anyway... uh. Uh, you have a new mechanic called Displaced Refugees, which is when you fight and take over something, or someone else fights and takes over something nearby, you get these refugees that Tao Qian, being the overly generous governor that he was, just accepts and puts in his territories. And so you get bonuses based on your displaced refugees, which is kind of... Oh, hello. Give me that. Them. Which uh, is cool. I haven't seen it entirely in place, so I think that was a rough explanation of how it works. I think. Let's try our cheese. See if it works. The only really threatening thing here is the cavalry and the yellow dragons. Even though I don't know much about Tao Chien. Didn't Tao Qian give Liu Bei his territory? I think that's what happens. And then Zhao Zhao took it back. <laughs> Alright. So the cheese, in case you missed the earlier episode, is you take your deployable stakes and you put them in front of the gate here. And for whatever reason the AI kind of freaks out. You, like, stick it like this. You aren't supposed to be able to put it there. But you can move it. So the AI will freak out and not come at it. And so you can just shoot it to death. You and your little towers. You can just shoot it uh, to death. Kind of blocked here. So I don't like this position, but I guess we're going to work with it. I guess that's all we got. Should build that. Uh, I don't want to completely block it off because then the AI will be like, well, let's not go this way. And I want them to come at me. Also, we're going to fast forward because. Yeah, not much here. The dragons are pretty heavily armored, so I'm going to see if we can kill the. Not the dragons. Okay, they're doing this again, so we're going to come out with our second people. Look at the enemy run. Okay. Craven. They seem pretty content to come in here. Steal yourselves. So we're going to try and sandwich them. 
Missiles, fire! This tower is about to be a pain. <laughs> Ready, right. Guard, please. It is unfortunate that we're being shot from behind. I think we're good. Why am I not retaking the tower? The enemy warriors are running. Ha! See if we can shoot them in the back here. We are being pushed back. Are we? We are. Can we recapture this, please, gentlemen? They're coming at me. This is strange. Hmm. I think this is a loss. Yeah, they can't beat the shout. The roar of the beast. That was close. So it's not bugged anymore. Their uh, AI behavior. They put in a fix for multiplayer siege battles. So maybe the AI behavior tweak leaked into multi or single player and helped out. Or maybe I didn't do it right. I don't know. The world may never know. I could have left with the other guys sooner. A bit more distraction, but the finest armor. Sao Guy is cheerful. No one interesting to recruit. The Harden Iron Shell. What are you wearing, Hanfu? You've been with me for a while, but you're still wearing this. Hmm. I don't really care about charge bonus, so we'll put on that. Less penalties. And then one of... Do we put it on the Dong? What do you got, Dong? You already have one. Okay. That's fair enough. What about you, Li Libyan? Hmm. I'll put it with Libyan. Or Machao. What do you have? You have Stone Monkey. Well, here you go. You have this now. This is the correct choice. Also, because you are now Faction Heir. You Maybe I had something. Yes. You don't need that anymore. My lord Machao needs it. Me. Not Gung Sun. I promise I know my own people. Beautiful. Increase the rate of wall and settlement damage. Oh, that could be really good. Wait, what is the set bonus here? No. Oh. Meh. Don't care. Do not care at all. I'm no longer replenishing here. Show it's fine. Meat. We're gonna build. Unleash fury. We can siege them down a little bit. Well, that's oof. it's gonna be four turns before they start taking attrition. If not. Resume. Hello. Get smashed. Oh, he has the double maracas. That's funny. I have feasting commence. Zhao Yun traditionally uses a spear, so it's very strange seeing him with the maracas. They deserve nothing less. Truth. Is that replenishment thing blade. could be really helpful for uh, the Imperial Army, actually. Spread in all directions. Is it this? No, is this? Yeah. This is worth six instinct, I think. Actually, uh, sound so. How mad at you? I'm pretty pleased. I think everyone's pretty pleased. Like all of my generals, anyway. Besides Leo. Disinherited, minus 18. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like In the name a lot of more. China. So if I remember, we can put the water, give the water thing to, um, to war. the Imperial Army later. But who knows? Who knows? I'm going to go ahead and convert this. Build this. And annex somebody. Who wants to get annexed? No. Tan Chong. I Yiduquan. cannot. 
Where'd all the special people go? There should be a few more left, right? Do I just go down the Yellow River? Like, get ready to attack these guys? That's pretty mean, but... I mean, I am the cruel type. Give my tea house back. Focus your rage. As I get slightly sidetracked. The people's voice cannot be slightly. silenced. Only by growth will the word be spread. Sounds how and Jahudwin have leveled up. For South Sao, we want We're heading towards Zeal. Forget everything else, go for the Zeal. For Jahudwen. Trust is pretty good. He is not an administrator. Encourage is pretty good. So we're going to keep going down this line. He is army leader, so that's an important thing to remember. And we want vengeance. All of the revenge is ours. I guess I'm just going this way? Sure. Not possible. Time to chase Moment. down Gongdu. Okay, remember, we're not annexing the Han Empire. Here's Taishi Sir. I can't do anything about that. This will not happen. Hello. No. How are you? Possible. I feel like if I annex I something next to Sinjian, he's just going to declare war on me. Impossible. In fact, I'm impressed he hasn't not already. Possible. It looks like. There's no one for me to grab. I cannot. Hmm. No. All right, and let's just take a look at the uh, territories. Oops. What do we got? It looks like Liu Bei would be a decent absorption here. So it's Lady Ding or Liu Bei. Let's pick up Liu Bei. It's about time. It says he's still alive, but I don't know if I believe that. Alright. China is in turmoil. We must work together. Missing string. Indeed, Liu Bei. And that's why you must bow to me. When drawing a bow, Anything? Hold nope. The breath. Ever Anything? Upwards. Steel for battle. Any good items? Here's a horse. What about you? Wei Liao Zi. You also have a sword, but I don't care. Your arrival is welcome, my lord. Goodbye. Your arrival is welcome, Goodbye. my lord. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time. Unify in one direction. No items? Ooh, a bow. A bow and a farm manager. I bid you welcome, my lord. I bid you farewell, my servant. I am at your disposal. Okay. That was everyone that was given to us as a deployed army. Did we pick up anyone else? Such as maybe Liu Bei? Maybe Guan Yu. Maybe Zhu Ge Liang. Aha! Liu Bei's here, and he's happy. What up, Liu Bei? Nice swords. Oh, the Jade Horseman. Oh, hello. It's actually impressive that you had that. You know that, Liu Bei? Because I was just talking about that a little bit ago. But Sao Sao is about to go on fire next turn, once we can move you. All right, that was worth. Fear no one. We can even adopt Liu Bei if we want. Like, that's not something I'm opposed to. Where did they go? <laughs> They're gone. Oh, right here. I think I keep chasing them down. Because Yahoo Duen can take care of this. Big Daddy Dong. Three turns? No. 
We force. We force March. Alright. We are almost there. Is there anything else I wanted to do? We need two administrators. Two admins. Where do we want these admins? You're an admin here. Jiangxi is still kind of weak. We have a new assignment as well. Honestly, Yunnan is better. Because it's an iron mine and a spice market. What does Liu Bei do? Well, this is assignments. Is it sort of by rank or do I have to go? Uh huh. Liu Bei is construction cost, public order, building upkeep, peasantry. Boo. We actually have some really, like, that would be good here. Construction cost, income from commerce, silk and spice, and income from industry. Xin Ting Pei is even better. That's insane. Hello. Zie Jin Rui. Congratulations. You've done it. <laughs> we're also going to put in a construction thingy, Maboober, because we're going to build this next turn. I'm going to remember to do that. We have another administrator slot, but I think we hold out. Hmm. Maybe. We could check to see what's currently pulling in money. It's kind of hard to see because of all the corruption. Taiwan. Taiwan's good. This is almost entirely industry. Okay. So her gen actually has 15 industry income. That's surprising. Kong Rong. We could put in Kong Rong. So ideally we want an overlap of industry and income from all sources. That would be perfect. I don't know if we're going to have that, but that's what I'm looking for. Huang Zhang. Hmm. Huang Zhang it looks like an amazing industry. Industry, commerce, commerce silk. Wow, she has double commerce. Who the heck are you? Why are you so mad at me? We're only halfway through. Halfway there. Eh, I can't sing. Industry, commerce, commerce. You can kind of tell what they're going to be based on the symbols. So I could be going through this a little faster, but I'm being extra cautious. Industry, again. All sources and then commerce. Mm. We have a number of commerce, silk, and spice, and industry. But very few industry and all sources. Hmm. In fact, I didn't see any. So if we just give it to Kong Rong to make him happy. Although he won't be here then. It's kind of disappointing. Hmm. We'll give it to Zunyu. That's 10% income from all sources. Oh, so is Duji. Alright. We'll give it to him and give him some horses or something. Which means I can actually do that right now. Oh, I have to find him. Hello. 
This is not what I signed up for. I just signed up for spawning him and giving him stuff. Because it should be, like, free. There's Yahoo Yuan. That's Herda. Duan Wei. That name sounds familiar. Where is... What? Du G. I just want to spawn you, Duji. Why you do this? We this is a sign that you have too many people in court. There we go. Order will spread throughout. <laughs> so the only purpose here. I feel the warmth of hope. Yep, they're free. It's beautiful. Just give him a bunch of gifted units and then recall him, and then he'll just sit in town with his six cataphracts. Which is a pretty scary defense, if you ask me. What do you wish to know? I wish for you to perform your task well. I shouldn't have dismissed him just like that. So I wanted to give him an item. Okay, more industry. Do we have anything for more industry? We have a peasantry. Peasantry is close. I mean, it's not really. Public order. Okay. Look at this all it is. We can pick up some more trade influence by putting it on someone else. Congratulations, have a book. The book is yours. And then I've already forgotten her name. We didn't spawn her, so she doesn't have a little thingy next to her of respawning. We just made her the administrator. Mm. Wait a minute, I didn't have anything to give her anyway, so why am I looking? Oh, make myself feel better. Next turn, last turn. <laughs> I don't even want to know how long I spent staring at that list for administrator. I really don't. If it's too egregious, I'll edit it out. Okay. Last turn. Zhang Jiang is desperate. Friends, stick together. In the fading light of day, you and a friend gather for a drink. It is an almost ritualistic time for you both. A time to sit, reflect, and enjoy one another's company. There is seldom time these days, not like there used to be. So you both savor the moment and enjoy each other's company and fine, fine wine. Between Liu Hong and Liu Biao, people who would actually do that. Zing Zhang is loyal. Recently got a eunuch. Hmm. Reduce satisfaction to reduce corruption. Almost tempting. Almost. We're in a bit of a pickle at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm not going to. Alright, Herjin. How goes this? Have fun. Oh, we lost a unit. Rut row. This shows much potential. Nice little jig. Yep. This retinue is down to the captain and two Imperial Palace crossbows, and that's it. We finally have zeal. How many turns in? 105 turns in, we have zeal. Let desire shape and guide passion. That's fine. Actually good buildings. Actually hilarious, they doubled up. The AI does this every now and then, and it's cheating to the maximum caliber. They built they build two of the same building, and it's usually this marketplace. They'll have two of them. Why? I have no idea. I also don't know how. But uh, I'm gonna cheese this and keep them both. With Sounds wisdom. good to me. I guess we're gonna go punch this because there's no way we don't win this. See, they fled. 
they knew. Spice trade. Contemplate all. I want all the spice. To arms! Looks like the yellow turbans are in a pickle. That is a terrible map to fight. So we'll they go ahead and strategy. night attack to convince these guys this to leave. Our needs. They might just immediately attack me, in which case I'm going to wreck there them. Is cunning in caution. And you are now going this way. Or this way. I guess we're going this way. We have that throwaway army that's down here. Pick up up here. Or just keep chasing. For China. And kill them. March. I like this plan. Harden your hearts. Ready yourselves. I can't move. Any Not today. Forward. Marching. I can move a pixel Impossible. further. Towards unity. March as one. All right. I'm just trying to make sure I'm in position to kill. Attention. Them. Next time. Can't reach the temple here. Let fury the temple has no defenses, so. Oh look, it has some on there. Order will spread but I mean, throughout. other than that, no. Here, do something, Wang Rui. Stop being so mad. In greetings, bear the teeth. In greetings, bear the teeth. Resume standard stance. That's a very Dong Zhuo thing to say. Dong Zhuo. Hey. Impossible. What up, Zhang Zhuo? Not possible. I'm looking forward to killing you. Yeah, it is possible. And that is everything for today. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And look forward to the continuation of our domination of China. We continue to chase our enemies further and further. And soon, the last crusade shall begin.